mambo hivi leo tuna safari tunakwenda kizimbani tunapenda kwenda kizimbani <laughs> so today is a special day. We are still learning the language, but today we're gonna go to a spice farm to practice some of the stuff that we have learned and just to have an experience in the culture and get a feeling for how to say things, how to you know name things that we already learned. And I'm pretty excited because we are going to join a, another class and spend the day together. I believe it's going to be a, a really cool time. Yeah, I'm going to take you with us and I hope you enjoy it. Waiting here for. I don't know what we're waiting for, but we're gonna continue just in a short time, I believe. <laughs> and yeah, I'm excited to see the spice farm. I believe it's gonna be interesting to see all the spices that we learned in class, you know, <laughs> life. Moja. Papaya, we use it for meat to rice. Yes. In supermarket, have pepper and powder come from the papaya. Process. You take knife and the cup. You make like this. After to get top sap in your cup, you take a big mirror. You keep in the sun, and then you bring there. After two hours, we get powder. We call it pepper and powder. heavily but we're still going we don't give up easily Whew, man Did you man, hear the I rain brought, I should have brought my rain jacket man. Man. Oh, yeah. it is raining for the last couple of hours um, but now for the last 30 minutes it's raining pretty heavily we're still walking around and uh, yeah, it's actually interesting because we are finding a lot of different kinds of spices and even fruits, which is really cool. Many of those I never heard before, but it's kind of cool to get to know them. And now we're here with a group looking at a tree. I don't know exactly what this tree is. Durian. What? Durian. Durian? Smelly one. Smell. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> so, my teacher just said, <laughs> ask if I'm a journal journalist. <laughs> uh, hello. That is my student, he's become a journalist. <laughs> so, from a student to a journalist. But, yeah, um, yeah, we're walking around here, it's, it's pretty cool because um, it's very interesting. The weather is not perfect, but uh, it's still. And, uh, an amazing experience for us and also just to kind of to learn the language uh, being you know in in the spice farm it's pretty interesting a red banana it's good yeah I like it
Mzungu kimbuta? Mzungu mwekundu. Mzungu mwekundu. Mhm, mzungu mwekundu. They called mzungu And also mzungu is the term for a white person. <laughs> Funny. So technically, you would translate it as a red white person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you say? What was like a highlight for you today? It was uh, the uh, what was the, what was the so what's this what's this? Subini? No, no, no. The uh, <laughs> the uh, soursop soursop tree. Uh, soursop tree that can uh, prevent cancer. Yeah, and help if you do have cancer instead of chemo, mm. which they do not sell in America. I mean, they probably do, but it's not rare. <coughs> so, so I have a lot of questions since coming out, since I came, since coming to the spice form. There's a lot of things for your body that's natural. Mm. And also, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Really, that's good, Joey. Yeah, man. So, what's your highlight from today? Honestly, just. Realizing that there's so many fruits I've never heard of in my life. <laughs> like, yeah, there were many. Yeah, at least at least five or six for me. Just, you know, it wasn't like, oh, I've heard of them, never tried them, never seen them, heard them. Yeah, that yeah. Cool. I feel like for me, probably half of the fruits I never heard. Of. All right, Lena. Mm. What is your highlight? Are you eating Karosha? My highlight was tasting the cacao and seeing the cacao. Seeing the cacao, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, doesn't taste like cacao. You mean chocolate? <laughs> yeah, cacao chocolate. All right, we are heading back home. Yeah, uh, it was a nice experience. I learned a lot and I got some goodies, a coffee, aloe vera cream, and some other stuff, which is really cool. Yeah, uh, I think it was a really good experience for us learning, uh, you know, the language being on the field and just kind of, you know, being immersed in the culture. I think it's, it's a pretty cool experience and motivates you to learn more because you have interaction. Uh, and it's not just you know sitting in a classroom and learning vocabulary. So I pretty enjoyed it.